So this device here has been waiting around for some months for me to get around to look at. I actually got this in January, but now it's August and I still haven't uh, said anything about it. So here we go. So this little board I got from IC Station and basically the idea is you have a, a USB-C, so a power delivery port, USB PD port, and then on the, so that's the input if you like, and then on the output side you've got a USB PD socket and the traditional USB type A and there are these buttons here that allow you to control the board so basically the idea of this end is um you know we have a, you know typical USB C wall wart with the C type I guess that's a female connector so this is designed to plug in here I don't have a mains socket very convenient so I could use this cable here um so so we've got a converter here an adapter female to female and then this is the cable coming out of the wall wart so if we plug this in so you can see a led is lit up at the bottom there and if we have a look more in close up you can see there the legend says uh, 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, 20 and basically the idea is using these buttons oh maybe this is this up here oh there we go using these buttons you can switch it up through the voltages or back down and then this socket here will be outputting the voltage that you selected so it's a way that you can check a power supply a USB PD power supply and see which of these voltages it's actually able to output and uh, so if I plug in this sort of charge doctor thing so this is I got a number of these kind of charge doctor like little voltmeters this one's got the USB C adapter on it so that's quite handy you could plug it in between a USB-C device and the power supply and see what's going on so that's set uh, set at 5 volts and that's reading 5 volts so if we go up through the voltages here we get 8.94 nearly 9 that's reading tw well 11.9 for 12 volts select 15 it doesn't say 15 so I think that what that means is that this particular power supply that I've got under the bench here doesn't do 15 volts because this is a thing about the PD power supplies that not all the power supplies support every voltage uh, so that can be confusing if we select 20 oh, that's, that was funny it sort of went up to 16 volts didn't it momentarily and then it's gone up to 19.7 so it's now reading 20 so the these PD type power supplies they, the the ones that you have for charging laptops for example go up to 20 so you get 20 volts that may be 3 amps and that gives you 60 watts which is enough to charge a, uh, a laptop you need quite a lot of juice for a la laptop so that's the basic idea of this board. Now there's also some tabs that you can solder things onto here. I'm just going to put the voltmeter on there. So let's put the voltmeter on. And that's reading 20 so you get, you've got another output here where you can actually solder tabs onto this board to get the output so that's quite handy uh, now this 
socket on the back. I know from um, some unsuccessful experimentation that the voltage that you've selected does actually come out of this this old style USB A socket, um, and I know that because I just burned up one of my charge doctors. So I had that plugged in. I selected 20 volts, and the magic smoke came out. And you might be able to see there's a few scorched looking components there in particular what looks like um, a regulator so i would imagine that's a 3.3 volt regulator uh, which i've cooked and this unit doesn't work any longer so um, no doubt that will be the subject for a future repair video when i can get hold of these some of these um, surface mount regulators because there seems to be a bit of a shortage at the moment so there we go a word of warning don't leave uh, sensitive equipment plugged into the USB A um, there's also a legend on the back I don't really don't really know what this means so comments welcome but we have it looks like three pairs of pads here where you can kind of put a solder bridge here to enable some functionality so the top one says PD only and the second one has got S plus to S minus loop it says and then the third one is just underneath S plus to S minus unlock and then at the bottom there we also have it doesn't look like it's a you know meant to be bridged by solder pads but there's two pads there connected to the inner two um the inner two connectors of the USB A so these these would be the D D plus and D minus connector um and it's kind of suggesting there that you can break those out um but there's also this legend here s minus to s plus lock and I, i'm not sure what that means and there's not really any documentation available for this unit and then finally you can see some, some more of these solder pads here where you can get the selected voltage out so um yeah so that's quite a nice little device from ic station I uh, can't remember how much I paid for it, but it, was, it wasn't a huge amount. And um, a useful way of testing my PD power supplies, of which there are uh, an increasing number around the house.